hello everyone it's Kritik here from IT Rebels and today in this video we'll be building a web application uh, using Next.js 13 and experimental app directory and we are going to build something like this uh, I am using NASA API uh, to fetch all these images by their dates and uh, this is what we get uh, so in this application you will uh, be seeing how to build something using Next.js server side components so this is a server side component header and uh, a spotlight section which is also a server side component and a read more button which is a client side component so this is how a new spotlight uh, will appear uh, so you will be seeing this all of this uh, how to build something like this and then we are going uh, to best images for last seven days and it also clickable and this is a client side component and as you can see this yeah so the next uh, section will be uh, infinite scroller uh, so we are using infinite scroller component uh, react infinite scroller component uh, in next.js so which will help you to create infinite scroll app uh, applications so you, as you can see i am scrolling it uh, more and more more and, uh, scrolling it down and the new data will be just popped up as you can see in the right uh, there will be a loading and new data will be added yeah so this is how infinite scroll works in next.js 13 you can use it uh, in your client component and we are going to build this so all of this is uh, an image and some up in model uh, model you will be seeing this uh, if uh, there is an e video if there is a video you can also see this a video pop up So I think this is a great project to start with, uh, and if you are learning, new, if you are new to Next.js, and uh, there is no state management in this video, I uh, I haven't uh, used state management in this video, uh, in this project because I am still learning Next.js and I don't know how to use uh, Redux or something in Next.js currently. So. I will be learning it and then if I understand it well I will make a video about that so yeah uh, let's begin with our build uh, let's do it this is where I build the, all of this project and let's start with uh, what I did uh, so basically I created a create next app application using uh, ex new experimental feature and I am using source directory inside this source directory there is a app folder and component and style so in styles uh, i used uh, normal uh, scss and here is what i am using as scss and i am also using tailwind so i installed tailwind uh, in this as you can see it's a normal simple tailwind without any plugins or extra theme extends so this is how I created uh, this project and all this uh, thing I used is Chrome developer tool to be debug and all this Tailwind CSS as CSS react 18 plus which comes uh, pa pre packed in next 13 uh, with server components and react icon I don't uh, I haven't you uh, I only use react icons for that play video icon and then and design model uh, to display the model you can use no, any model you wish uh, like uh, react model or something mm, the, or you can build your own custom models too uh, then moment.js uh, moment.js is a library in javascript uh, which helps you to create uh, to deal with dates uh, so i use that axios uh, to fetching your data and react infinite scroll component for client side infinite scroll react masonry css for masonry picture cards so what is masonry picture cards as you can see this is uh, not aligned in just uh, one row or one column it's aligned in 
just wherever it get uh, space so this is how react mastery works and let's see how we have built this application so here is an api uh, which we are going to use uh, i am this is an example format where what we are going to use as api and uh, this is what i we are using here uh, next year's api start date and date so this is our api and thumbnail is equal to true for videos uh, url and let me show you what uh, so this is the base uri url and then we will end start date and start date and uh, end date uh, it at the end of this url so let me show you how it is after so that's my chrome browser uh, console networks okay let's refresh this as you can see so this is a complete URL uh, of that API uh, if you go on into this a NASA API then you will get all this data in JSON format uh, so we are just fetching that and you can find more data about this uh, like if you want more data you can just change this start date and end date uh, according to your own uh, limits and you can just use this API to get this amazing data so let's start first section uh, what we have built is in next.js 13 there is called uh, app directory uh, which we can use to create pages and uh, the home page is just uh, layout uh, loading and pages uh, pages is the home page uh, route directory like uh, if the website loads the first page it will be this page so what i did is created a basic uh, home page using main and uh, since i am uh, fetching some data I used a server side. Uh, uh, I created a function, uh, this get data, uh, and uh, fetched this uh, API, fetched this uh, data from this API plus start date plus end date, and uh, we are uh, passing the start date and end date as a parameter in this function get date, and later uh, in this home section uh, we by some uh, adding some logic we are getting this start uh, setting this start date and end date and then passing it down to this get data and then fetching all those data and uh, store it in this data variable so this is how it works and uh, then uh, by at the meantime if the data is loading uh, we, we have something called react suspense uh, in react 18 uh, sorry in latest react server side components then we can use that react suspense and it asks for a fallback uh, like uh, if something is loading uh, then what should we display it so you can just uh, add some uh, paragraph called loading or you can use uh, this loading uh, custom component so I created this loading custom component which is uh, just like this uh, okay it's too fast I think uh cookie remove remove done control shift r it's too fast yeah i think it's too fast uh, so i'm reloading it uh, many times but i think it's too fast for this uh, let's go to our network and Shortening to slow 3G to make our network uh, speed slow and control shift R. Wait, it's still far. Wait, let me do this. Some, I think this will work. New private window. Uh, I think the server has cached this. 
sebentar so basically there is a loading component uh, behind this if uh, it takes some time in loading uh, then it will run uh, like you can you will be seeing some uh, loading uh, screen uh, so I created this loading screen as that then uh, there is a layout uh, in which we have called our header before our children so uh, we can see this header section which is a server side component by default every uh, component in inside this is a server side component and this header is here uh, you can see here we used uh, normal css plus no, uh, tailwind to style it as per your our own will and to make it more responsive this complete website is uh, responsive in nature uh, as you can see here this is responsive on mobile as you can see this is a scrollable and yeah it's in mobile working fine in mobile too so this is header and then uh, there will be a spotlight section uh, spotlight section this is the spotlight section uh, which uh, which is under pages and inside this uh, main it is a main html a jsx element and then this is spotlight component and we are passing our data to this spotlight element so spotlight element uh, will take only one uh, one data one array so that's why we are just passing zeroth element of this data uh, in spotlight so and this is how spotlight jsx is di displayed uh, inside a browser this whole part is spotlight area Th this is the back ba first uh, there is a div with a background image uh, and then there is an another div uh, with uh, overlay uh, and this is how it looks then the 10 data you can see everything in this pro uh, code uh, this code is available on github uh, you can see here kritiksha uh, github kritiksha astronomy dot pid this is the url and uh, if you wa want to see it on deployed here is here it is it is deployed on varsal uh, you can see that the next part will be uh, this this is uh, this is just uh, uh, since we require a click functionality we have to make this uh, thing in client side and that's why we used uh, this uh, simple uh, simple card wrapper simple card wrapper is a component where which you which is a server side component and it j so we have a title here which is in server side so in page source this title will be available but uh, all these picture cards like uh, this picture cards uh, where it is this picture cards is just a client side component and all uh, we are passing our data uh, of that ca simple card in we are just passing the one card data so to this picture card too and this is how picture card uh, will look here is a picture card to this component uh, and this is how simple it looks when someone is click this model will fire and this model will uh, uh, call uh, this spotlight once again so we are reusing this spotlight functionality and as you can remember we have uh, our trimmed this data here uh, using this logic mm, trim this data here using this logic uh, yeah you can see uh, how it uh, is how we just trimmed this data and once uh, and now uh, in this picture card like someone click on this spotlight or read more button we are just passing one more uh, uh, parameter called show uh, full de description 
to true so show di full description is equal to true which means we are we are just calling uh, spotlight uh, with the full and we need full complete spotlight with full description so that's how we are getting this parameter here from this picture cards and then we are checking it uh, if this spotlight section is uh, full description then make it uh, m like bigger in sections uh, so the data will be displayed more perfectly uh, just like bigger so we have added some custom designs uh, so that's why we are i am using uh, tailwind css here inside this uh, application because i want to to make thing faster and i want to build this thing with faster and it took me around one and a half days to build this uh, and this is what i did full description okay so uh, if full description is true then show the complete explanation else uh, they give this uh, trim data trim description and everything is everything the rest is very simple and as uh, uh, and there is one more check uh, if the, if the data is in video format or uh, image format so as you can see there is an image uh, media type uh, parameter there is a, a key in this object given object uh, called media type which uh, gives us the parameter called image or video uh, so everything is here is an image but there are some few uh, which have videos in it image 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 control f v i d o okay i think this uh, we don't have here but there are few uh, things which have uh, videos in that so i am just checking uh, if the uh, the data data type is uh, image like first i am checking if it's coming from full description uh, like when someone click on it then only uh, i am differentiating in uh, image or video but if it's not coming from uh, model uh, then display just image so uh, i am just checking uh, if the image uh, it if it is image then show display it in image uh, else show a model video model so video model is also a component i created in utils uh, which is taking uh, an image nextjs image uh, and optimizing that image and then cr displaying a whole icon or play icon on that and then uh, i'm just uh, added a on click event handler uh, so this is a use client component uh, and once someone click on that we uh, uh, click on that image or icon a video model will be opened so I am using this FS lightbox uh, video model opener so it will display the YouTube perfectly so this is how I added this video display video feature read more and everything else is simple then now comes to the best part uh, I'm using this react masonry and infinite scroll so first of all I tried using a, a normal com client si a c a server side uh, infinite scroll uh, but it was showing me some error uh, like it was not displaying error but uh, it was not working properly like uh, it is continuously reloading uh, so i thought uh, using something different then i uh, built this uh, infinite scroll and here it is the infinite scroll uh, this is a client side component which is uh, running on client side on your browser so we can use use state and use effect here uh, which is great so i am using this infinite scroller for from a react infinite scroll component and axios uh, for fetching a data use state use refer moment and picture card so once uh, what i have done is uh, 
we have a infinite scroll component and then there is called uh, so then uh, we are getting this data like we need some data on a uh, scroll so this is what this is handling that uh, scroll behavior behavior and once we enter the viewpoint um, like we reach the limit uh, we have reached the limit it it shows loading uh, here it shows loading and then uh, it will fire this uh, once the post dot limit is reached uh, it will fire uh, this next data and it will take a, a start date and end date because we need to pass the start date and end date in our API so the one since it is a client side component uh, we have to pass this uh, start date and end date uh, in this i just created this uh, start date get start date and end date function uh, like this uh, we are take creating a uh, today variable we are storing today's date uh, in this today's date variable then uh, we are getting our end date like uh, the close closest day date for from today uh, so we are dealing with date so we have to think like backwards so the end date will be the nearest date from today and the start date will be the far most da date uh, from today uh, so we are dealing with 20 data so we are just subtracting uh, first of all uh, let's count So we are just using f first data here, uh, data first uh, like zeroth one. Then the next seventh will be displayed here, and then from eight it will be starting from here. Uh, so we are just uh, getting today's data and then subtracting eight days from it, then storing it to end date. Uh, that that will be our end date and then uh, we are create we will create start date uh, and the start date will be like uh, from end date minus 20 date date uh, so so we will get 20 more datas uh, 20 datas so every time uh, this uh, this function runs it will give you a start date and end date and then uh, we are just uh, using set end date and set start date to set our state and then we are setting our latest date like uh, once we have get this start date uh, let make this la uh, date la our latest date so uh, once uh, uh, so we can just uh, repass that latest date and continue from where we left uh, so this date all this data will not get duplicated and we will fetch uh, the new dates uh, new data from that point so we are fetching a, uh, we are setting this uh, latest date uh, as our st uh, start date as our latest date and then uh, once we have the star latest day start date and date and latest date then we can just uh, uh, fetch this data so once that done uh, use you are thinking where this is called like we have never used it here so since it is a uh, client side component and we have to use it uh, once the page load that's why i am using react uh, use effect hook uh, and we are calling it once the page load only on page load you c if you are using class based component you can use it inside a component did mount so it will work fine and then uh, fetch data uh, okay okay so this is fetch data uh, and once the uh, post dot length has been reached uh, like all the all the post have been shown it will display loading and fetching the new data uh, and it will take start date and end date here and this is how fetch data will be working it is an async function uh, with an await call uh, await axios call and this is our uh, url uh, start date end date and set post okay the post which we are getting we are just spreading it uh, inside our array and creating a new array and storing it inside this uh, post datas 
and then this post will be uh, will be um, uh, passed down to this card wrapper and inside this card wrapper we are just uh, uh, adding this masonry layout which is also a, a, a component which custom component which is just taking the breakpoints to make it responsive and this is what the breakpoint I used and uh, masonry uh, layout masonry package uh, module which is coming from react masonry css which is the best masonry css i found on internet so other as i use this because i really love this so i never used it before but uh, once i tried it i i was making it from scratch before uh, but it was just a headache so i found this uh, masonry component and it uh, really helped so thanks shout out to them so this is also a client side component and then we are just wait a minute is it client side component why this can be a server side component yep this can be a server side component yeah so we are let's see uh, if this works or not so react mastery breakpoints column this will take the breakpoints and then class masonry grid it is a uh, given css uh, inside their package react masonry css react so they have given all the styling here react masonry css they have provided all these styles and I just copied that and pasted it here and made few changes according to my component and it will be working fine then um, what I did is uh, pa getting these children where I am getting these children I don't remember okay card fight card wrapper card wrapper yeah so I am getting this children from here data map and picture card so all the this picture card is being displayed here so let's see if it's working or not yep it's working so that can be a an server component which is which will work fine so I think uh, this is great and I just explained this whole project to you and you can just check out this github if you like this video like this project then put your opinion in comment section and if you really like this video I found it helpful then use uh, this you have complete right to use this project uh, for your purpose uh, and you can just like our videos too thanks we are trying our best to put these videos regularly but uh, uh, since I have uh, my work too uh, I was really busy getting busy in that and I almost forget to, for, to put some videos uh, from past two weeks or months uh, I'm really sorry about that and we, are, we will try our best to uh, contribute in our community and we hope uh, you like this, uh, like our energy and our content. So I hope you subscribe our channel. That will be great help. Thank you.